Some of the folks most at risk when the heavy winds come through are those in mobile homes, and that's why some central Georgia counties are recommending people in trailer parks take refuge somewhere else. Suzanne Lawler joins us from Crisp County to explain why. I'll tell you guys, uh, we've seen some of these wind gusts now. We talked to Sheriff Billy Hancock and he said right now the gusts are about 35 miles an hour. Of course, those are going to get worse as the evening continues. And some of the most vulnerable people are those folks in mobile homes. Abby Casaurus and I visited one today and we talked to a couple of families. Now they are going to get out, but the tough choice is what they leave behind. It's just not safe here. Brandi Sherwood lives in a mobile home park. She fears Chris County and their neighbors will get hit with the brunt of the storm. For the people in these trailers that are staying, I wish them the best of luck and hope they stay safe. Lawanda Smith is one of those neighbors. I, I take all, I'm going to take all my important papers, medicine, and that's it. But she's not staying. Yeah, that it won't be livable when I get back. I just pray that it is. And you just moved here. And I just moved here, so I'm praying that it be here after the storm. Both Smith and Sherwood say they worry about nearby trees. <coughs> Sherwood says she's leaving, headed to a motel with their two dogs. That's um, pickles and that's fudge. But leaving behind, their guinea pigs. If the tree falls in, I just you know, hope they live, you know, make it because we can't take that with us. <laughs> Her mom, Raylene Brown, says it's a hard decision to make during a tough time. And they do have shelters open along Crisp and Cordial, but those shelters are not pet friendly. As of right now, they have about 30 people in the shelter, but they think that number is going to go up as the evening goes on. Frank, Lori, back to you.